we're just on our way to the airport now. We're just about to get on the plane and go back out to South Africa to continue the work with Africa Tikkun and hopefully speak with another charity whilst we're out there. Then we are off to the One Solution conference. Really looking forward to seeing all the ladies again, Africa Tikkun. Um, they should all be coming to the conference as well and really excited to be um, involved in the One Solution conference and just sort of seeing this take off even more in South Africa. Thanks to Kath and Dee for dropping us off. We're just at gate now and waiting to board our flight on the way to Doha. Doha. So we've got about 20 minutes. It's been really good, really easy through Heathrow today. And uh, yeah, can't wait to get cracking. Here we are. It's not been a bad flight down. It's been a long, long one. We went by a Doha. Um, I wouldn't say it was a mistake because it was actually a really good flight. So but it's nice to be back in Cape Town. It's nice and warm. Excited to get cracking. freedom from the tyranny of your own mind. Don't mind me doing this, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lovely to see you. Yeah? Oh, this is ace. It's so nice to be back. We're also missing you guys. Oh, we miss you so much. Oh, Lovely to see you. We're just sitting down to a meal with 
Lisa Hebron, Sam and Jill and we're just having a conversation around the principles. We are just on our way to see a lady called Kerry. Kerry is a lady we met in when we first came out in 2015. Um, we got put in touch with her by a, a lady called Helen Lieberman, who works, who has a charity called Ecamba. Kerry's an awesome person. She has started something called Super Troopers, which is something that she started after she had what she described as a wake-up experience and decided at that point that she wanted to go out and start helping people. She started making soup, taking it in a car and giving it to homeless people. Um, since then Super Troopers has just blown up really, it's got massive and we are on our way to one of their meetings. She does monthly meetings and thankfully we're here for once to, to go and see them. Video. So here we've got Kerry and sorry, what's your name again? Charlene. Charlene, which is Kerry's mum and Jen, obviously. So Kerry, can you just tell us where we are, why we are, and what's going on? So we are at the service dining room today, which is a place that's open during the week for people living on the streets to get a meal. Super Troopers is a social that happens once a month. We've been going for two and a half years, and it's very much about bringing people of all walks of life, all diverse backgrounds, religion, race, everything, and just finding the common, the, the thing that connects us, and socializing, turning up volume on fun. So we're having a, our social today, and we have haircuts, we're celebrating birthdays, we'll have a lovely meal later on, we have a magic show, a singer, and it's just very much about having fun and just focusing on what we can do together and the power that we each individually have to make the changes that we are desperate to see and um, very grateful and thank you to everybody that collaborates and this is really a community that is built on humanity people coming together and doing whatever you feel you'd like to share safe space awesome thank you Everybody's fed, everybody's watered, everybody's going. That has been a really good event with some awesome people. Food looks gorgeous. 
Just a lot of hard work gone in, days of preparation. Some awesome people coming together. Brilliant stories told. I've learned so much just from I've learned so much just from speaking to people. And it's great because it kind of it kind of gives you insight into to the things that really hold people back and what they perceive to really hold them back and it's nice just to talk to them just general conversation and yeah it's been it's been really powerful oh right, Lise what do you reckon Lise? power with power. you guys everything is power <laughs> what, what do you reckon think? dude? yeah he loves it how was it yeah? oh it was awesome make some nice friends emotional. That's been emotional, hasn't it? It's been really emotional. There's Jill. Speaking to Nico. What an incredibly awesome event. It always... I'm just filled with joy and with love. It will last a good... well, a month until the next one. Yeah. And um, people, yeah, to see people smiling, to see people sharing and being there for each other. This is an example of how we can be in the world. Different race, different cultures coming together, really believing in the power of magic and believing in the impossible, turning into a reality. I'm very grateful, I'm very blessed, and yes, thank you. Thank you, Kerry, because it was awesome. Jill, what did you reckon? Oh man, I think it was absolutely stunning. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, never mind mixing with cultures and races, but mixing with people who live on the street and connecting with them soul to soul. That they are really, not just saying it, but they are really a human being struggling with an issue, struggling with their thinking, struggling with things that they think are limiting them. And the beauty of the people, the quality of these people, I am just, I'm blown away.